Ready? <laughs> Are we ready now? I'm already filming. It's already filming, okay. Hi, welcome to the next batch of lecture. This is about the median nerve. We're going to go through the course of the median nerve. So if you follow me on to the volunteer that we have, and if we see, the, me the brachial plexus comes under the clavicle. It then gives the medial and the lateral cords. These combine to form the median nerve. And the median nerve ascends down medially with a brachial artery. It comes down, and as you can see, it comes down over there and goes anteriorly into the cubital fossa. At the cubital fossa, the median nerve gives off an important branch. That's the anterior interosseous nerve. The anterior interosseous nerve supplies three muscles. The first one is the flexor pollicis longus, which causes flexion at the interphalangeal joint of the thumb. The second is the flexor digitorium profundus, the radial half of it, which flexes at the distal interphalangeal joints of the fingers. The third muscle is the pronator quadratus, which is deep in the wrist. And this is a purely motor nerve. So after the anterior interosseous nerve has been given off, the median nerve descends into the pronator teres muscle, and it goes in between its two heads, and descends down the forearm distally in between the FDP and the FDS. When it goes down, just before it enters the carpal tunnel, it gives off a branch, as you can see over here, dotted out onto the thenar muscle. And that branch is called the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve. And that is a purely sensory branch that supplies sensation on the thenar muscle. After it gives off that branch, it then enters under the carpal tunnel with the tendons of the flexor digitorium superficialis profundus and the flexor pollicis longus and then gives off a branch which curls around in the thenar eminence. And this is the recurrent motor branch. This is a purely motor branch that supplies the muscles of the thenar muscle. Right there. After that, the median nerve then splits off into digital nerves that supply the lumbricals of the first and second fingers. And it also supplies a sensation as pointed out over here, on the lateral three and a half digits. So one, two, three and a half digits, just in the volar aspect of the hand. And if you look at the other side, the median nerve supplies sensation to the tips of the fingers just over here. So the most sensitive part to check for the median nerve would be over the thenar eminence. And that's the median nerve. Thank you very much for listening um, um, about the course of the median nerve. The next video is going to be about how to check for the median nerve in the patient. Thank you very much for listening.